Hey everybody, welcome back to another Sexy Scream Time. We're on episode number six, and you know, I thought about it, and I see that everything is well lit. I can only assume things are gonna get worse from here, so let's uh, let's go check out what's what's happening. Let's uh, get this over with. All right. Okay. It wants me to go that way. Should I? I'm not gonna fall for you though. I'm gonna. Why is there a body in here? Is this stone? This is disgusting and creepy. This is not. This is not art. Let's go over here, cause we we don't follow the rules. Gosh dang it! Let's see what's upstairs. Guest room? Let's go in the guest room. Happy fun times in there. He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one would an apple and pondered on the strange happenings. Uh oh. I think my game's about to crash. I think it's about to crash. Oh no. Yep, it's crashing. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. That was scary. My journal is gone. I don't know. What would they want with your journal, Daniel? Ah, oh, what is this? Nothing? Everything's just so well lit. It's pretty awesome. What's this? Yeah, broke it. So what? Oh, you creepy little bugs. We got a little note. Got a little sandpaper. Got it. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. Uh oh. The man sound good. rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it. But I'm worried for He's him. He's probably dead. I mean, that's that's my guess. All right, guess we'll go in here. Let's check for useful things. Might as well collect now while we have the chance. Definitely take one of those. Picked up a crowbar. Awesome. Ah, oh, maybe we could put the box back together. Yeah? No. Too busy. Okay, what's this say? 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Ooh, Daniel my cat after just came one hour down of entrapment. The desk. This confused me That's greatly. Nice. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures oh, to continue. Man. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Second orb. I don't I don't really know. Okay. Daniel. What? Oh. Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. 
They come every night. I guess it's gonna be a, a memory You'll episode. See. Just gonna remember everything. I want a, I want a fresh shirt, maybe. Nothing in there. About here. About here. All right. So nothing. Uh, nothing in here, I guess. Photos missing. Anything in the fireplace? We will definitely take this. We're not gonna like this. No, no, no. This is well lit enough. It seems to be daytime outside. We'll be fine. We shall be fine. Maybe I'll move this stuff out of the way. See what's in the drawers. Ooh. What's this? Skooma. I always call it skooma because that's what it reminds me of. Okay, some oil. Definitely will take that. I guess this is a perfect time to resupply. We're not in any immediate danger. It's like it's stuck. Okay, can't lift it more than it already is. And is there anything up here? Bunny. Okay, looks like we have everything we can from this room. Door is stuck due to a broken lock. Um. Looks like we'll just use the handy dandy crowbar that we conveniently found in the other room. Oh god, why does everything have to break so abruptly? Please, let it be here. Oh, this room looks darker than the other one, like... Uh-oh. 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 I shouldn't have said anything. I'm just gonna stay. Everybody just be quiet. I can still hear him. There's certainly nobody hiding in this closet at all. That just closed on its own. I'm, a, I'm scared to move to peek out because... As soon as I move, the doors are gonna go flying open. Oh, let's see. Alright, alright. Uh. Just, uh, uh. Just close this here. Okay. Anything in this one? Nope. Fourth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. Magic! The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. All right, so yeah, I guess we're just going down memory lane here. Um, that guy was scary, though. Oh, back of the closet. Back of the closet. There it is. I guess it is a good place to hide in then. What's a good place to hide? Where? A key? Where? Where? Oh, what happened when I touched the frame? Right. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully that thing doesn't doesn't come back. 
Okay. Okay. We're we're out of here. We are outie. We got this. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day was okay. I won't finish reading. Thanks, game. Oh, things got eerie. <sighs> no, where did this come from? What? God, you son of a bitch! You just killed a random man that was in the house with me, or that I don't know. You drug it along. It was your toy. I have I have no idea. Let's go in the study. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Okie dokie. Man, these are taking forever to load. I feel like, um, I don't know. I feel like it's messed up a little bit. Ooh. Okay, now it gets a little darker. And I hear the humming. I hear the humming. Boop. Okay. I'm gonna, gonna close this. Be nice and... Nice and safe. Oh. There we go. Don't worry, buddy. I got you. We'll, uh... We'll wait till this runs out. We should be good. Ooh, we shall take these, though. Nope, that one doesn't open. Man, people just made a mess in here. Ah, treasure box. I will also take this. Anything else useful? Thank you. Oh, I just heard a noise. <gasps> oh. Okay, so... Let's work our way out of here. Oh, well done. Sorry about that. Somebody was knocking at my door at 11 o'clock in the evening. Okay. Should probably turn this out here. We will light one light in order not to overlight the area. Okay, what's this? A note? Oh man. To my most trusted student and friend, Joe Johan Wire. Yeah, okay. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is as. Okay, so there's more than one orb. Got it. Inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus. Oh man, I'm such a bad reader today. <laughs> Conclusious. 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 It was as if it was told about an underground Mithrak temple. God, they have some damn weird words. Crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. It was colored wash while rich. I'm putting periods where they're supposed to be. Not supposed to be. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was impossibly an artifact paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Balgalskat, uh, investing one of the antiquated trails when I found uh, the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become the greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of its chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as I closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentlessly relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some of the men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately... They remained uh, as continued my escape. 
remained as I continued my exit. Okay. When I heard the cry of pain of echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief. Thinking I would be... F sp sp gosh. <laughs> spared. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes kept running through the bleak surroundings, and the trees turned to charcoal. Wow, this is long. Black with leaves and cinder in the ground covered with murky water. Pressed through the drenched land, and the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. Wow. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as their pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to the grassy field outside of Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb for me, but still to this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry. I heard it in the forest. It must have been nearly a decade since that day, and I still have, haven't been able to write about that incident. Last time I spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Hashkaza. Okay. Your friend and mentor, Henrik Cornelius Agrippa. Oh my god, that was long. But we made it. I can, I can sort of read, guys. I can sort of read. Okay, we want to check the area for supplies. another note. Nope. Books, books, books. I guess there's only uh, a note in here. Alright, let's skedaddle. Okay. Mm -mm. Is this all there is to it? Oh no, there's a hallway. Oh, I'm at the lean. I'm really nervous because I feel like something's gonna happen. This is a well lit room with a half open door. Just gonna and close that with some. Someone was chopped into pieces. Oh, I see. Chamber of the Human Skull. Okay. Somebody, I guess, was experimenting. How was that? Oh, another note. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seem to be a trigger, and endogenous. Endogenous. Wow. I really cannot read today, and I apologize. Endogenous response, causing an animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it and it reeks of cos cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy, since the creature is bound to die from the exercise and must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. Dear God! More experiments must be performed, but it seems that the only human beings that are able to produce this amount necessarily. Okay. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their ex Oh my god, that is just horrible. They were experimenting on dogs and humans. I mean, that's bad too, but... I mean, animals can't defend themselves. Come on, guys. Get with it. Oh no. Oh no, I don't want to hear this. Let's see what you have to offer. Oh god. This... Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. Oh, this but is I terrible. can sense it. It's definitely there. This is just bad. I'm sorry. I'm very depressed now. I'm guessing this is the stupid doctor that, uh, that did this, you jerk. What's this? 1658, January 9th. 
Further disappointment. The Integrian's latest findings yielding nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner working of the life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect there will be in vain. Since no research has been made, in my particular interest must attempt to fill the void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. You son of a bitch. If I ever see you, I'll kill you. I will kill you in your sadist- Oh. Why was that scary? Why- Okay, it's bones, alright? You threw torsos at a- uh, I don't even know what it was, to be honest. I can't really- Pin it down with the invisible monster. That's what it was. Okay, we're all clear in here. Oh man, we went past 20 minutes already. Uh, we read a lot today. Um, we did a lot of memory stuff and flashbacks. So hopefully maybe it'll be a little more exciting next episode. But thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you are not subscribed to my channel, and you should definitely do that. Because I do have a lot of series. And if you haven't checked them out... You should click off at the end of the video and go catch those as well. So leave a like and a, some love. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.